All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. All right. So Bruce Dickinson, a reasonable guy. If you don't know who he is, he's in the band uh, Iron Maiden. Uh, For some of you, that's out of your usual comfort zone when you watch this channel. But um, I am an equal opportunity defender uh, and somebody who uh, pays attention to all different types of music, whether it's stuff I listen to every day or I respect I respect Iron Maiden. They should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, by the way. <laughs> they are the least Rock and Roll Hall of Fame band probably in history because they, you know, the weird thing is they were never mainstream. It's like they weren't this big commercial success on radio or anything. I can go back through the annals and I think only one of their songs managed to just barely get onto mainstream rock radio back in like the mid eighties or something. And that's it. So when Bruce Dickinson talks, he's a, he's a, you know, a fairly um, important figure in what I would call the underground metal scene. And he's done the thing in case you didn't know, he did the thing. I reported it last week uh, and uh, he still caught the thing, even though he did the thing. And I think he double did the thing. So um, he's basically out there saying now you can't legislate mortality. Pretty interesting line, Um, because here in the United States, we always used to say, you know, you can't legislate against morality. Um, And that's not true, by the way, because no matter what you try to legislate, somebody's morality is in the legislation. So, you know, they're singling out people who are uh, more inclined to try to live a decent life and not to uh, intake certain substances, whatever it is, um, you know, just say no. If you remember, (laughs) you can't do that because that's too harsh. You can't tell people just to say no. In fact, today, you can't really say to people anything that's offensive to them or they completely blow a gasket. So, um, I think Bruce Dickinson here is trying to warn people that going down this road of just mandating things on people is going to be a disaster because you really aren't going to get 100% compliance no matter where you go, number one, because it's just not human nature. Now, I know the big thing today is comply, comply, get in line do the thing, shut up and do the thing. Gene Simmons yelling at his fans on Twitter, don't tell me what to do, Gene says to everybody else who is questioning what he's saying, and he's telling everybody what to do. (laughs) But Bruce Dickinson has realized maybe there's no way to actually fix this thing by doing a thing, and then six months later, they're going to tell you you got to do the thing again. Really? I mean, seriously, am I going to be a pin cushion because you are going to have to do this thing every six months? Or uh, and, and by the way, that shows how ineffective this is. I mean, see, when you draw conclusions like just, OK, why do I still have to do all of the distancing and cult behavior where I have to put on the facial garb and I have to go out and look fearful and afraid and stay away and don't touch anything, and sanitize and wipe. And, you know, it's, it's madness and it's creating all of this fear. And you wonder why I say that the concert industry, well, it's never going to be the same. I mean, I may be overestimating saying that it's toast completely. I mean, it might come back to a certain degree, but you've created so much fear and none of these things that you're prescribing are solving the problem. And Bruce Dickinson, who did the thing, is saying, look, um, it's a personal decision that, you know, and I hear this selfishness argument all the time. Oh, you're just being selfish. Just do the thing. Really, I'm being selfish because I want to stay alive. I don't think that's selfish, you know, and if you're going to argue that what I'm doing is affecting someone else, look, you're responsible for your own existence. 
All right. You should do your own research because there are other ways to protect yourself than just doing the thing, which involves chemicals, unknown substances, possibly even toxic things. That's, I mean, and again, do your own research. If you think this is a, an exercise in good health, <laughs> sorry, because um, <laughs> I've asked that question, is this a healthy thing to do? Is this healthy? Is this like eating vegetables all the time? Is this good for you? And of course I get back, of course it is. What? <laughs> sorry, I almost broke into Astro there. That was kind of weird. But um, no, Bruce Dickinson, smart guy, uh, of course, he's going to get skewered for not being Gene Simmons here. And Gene Simmons getting beat up on Twitter, and he becomes more, you know, authoritarian and, and more belligerent toward the people that probably paid for tickets or bought, did some kiss type of thing years ago. Um, people who once respected this guy are now just kind of like, what happened to Gene Simmons? Um, he should probably take a page from the Bruce Dickinson playbook and at least admit that, hey, this isn't doing what they said it was going to do. Just be honest and move on. And everybody else needs to be honest too, rather than just pretending that it's not happening. Oh, I didn't see that. No, just go get a booster. You'll be great. Really? A booster? Oh, great. Well, I just did this thing and now you're telling me to do, a, you know, it. I don't know. When does it end? When does it end? That's the big question. And I think everybody needs to ponder that question. Anyway, I want to thank all the supporters who are supporting this channel, uh, subscribers. Had a good month uh, the last 30 days or so, even though we're not officially, you know, from the middle of July until about now. Thank you so much. And patrons, uh, you can be a patron for a buck a month. It helps. It encourages me because, you know, algorithms do weird things. They do weird things. You're a rock star one month and next month you're like, hey, what happened to me? I'm kind of in the doghouse here. And I think subject matter has a lot to do with that. You know, are they going to recommend the videos when I talk about the thing? I don't know. It's up to you guys. So thanks again for being here and I will see you soon.